in terms of we've had this major fallout and everything else like that is in the case it was a bit abrupt at the start because i've gone my own way welcome back to the show i feel like you've never you've never left mate yeah great no great oh, it's a pl you. pleasure as always done pleasure as always mate Bless your heart, bless your heart. So Dean is, is well known for his, uh, let's say, unlicensed bare knuckle boxing um, against the likes of Decker Hege and, and uh, he's, he's, he's a personality, let, let's just call him that. And he likes it and he loves it and, I, and it's great to see. The reason you're here though is because we're going to be talking about your new venture now, which is called BKB Contender. Um, yeah, bare knuckle yeah. boxing, basically, in a contender series. So rather than me explaining it, I'd love you to explain exactly what, what are you doing with BKB Content? So basically, you know, I'm putting together, you know, I was looking and I was tweaking, obviously, being involved with bare knuckle boxing, being involved with, obviously, a previous promotion that I was involved in um, at the start of it. And I was just looking to what I can bring something new to the table in terms of bare knuckle boxing, you know, what had not been done before. And, you know, you've got that many promotions now. You know, when we first started the first bare knuckle promotion, what we started, there was only a few platforms really. Now you're looking out there, is you know, they're getting quite it's a fast growing sport. And I thought, well, what can we do with this sport that's never been done before? And obviously with me watching the combat sports for years, I thought, I wonder a contender series, you know, I spoke about it a while ago and I thought, you know mm -hmm. what, let me go go and do the let me go and dot the T's with the I's in a sense and see where I can get it I can I can get it moving. And I looked and I thought, well, you know what? I wait I, I weighed it up for what it was, looked at the costumes and thought I can do that. You know, it's, is it going to be, you know, my up against it, putting it together? A lot of people think I am, but I was more or less 50% there when I put the idea on the table. And I just thought, you know what, it's going to be great for the sport. You've got me in bare knuckle boxing. is probably one of the fastest growing sports, combat sports at the moment. And especially in the UK, it's going through the roof. So I thought, you know what, let me just try and tr try my hand at something. So I spoke with a few fighters. You know, the interest, the feedback I got back from the general public and fans and stuff like that was tremendous. And I thought, you know what, let's go for it. And pretty much I'm executing the first bare knuckle contender series. It's going to be an eight week series in the uh, starts on the first week of August. So yeah, and um, that's where we're pretty much up to at the minute. So I mean, it's it's amazing, you know. In terms of the series, we're going to be, you know, the fighters are going to be getting the meal preps, the best nutrition. You know, they're going to be getting the the, the right proteins, nutrients. They're going to be getting a, you know, they're going to be getting the, you know, the training camp's going to be immense. They're going to be housed together like a big brother reality tv type thing so you know it's amazing everything's coming together it's the i'm enjoying what i'm doing now for when the series kicks off you know what i mean i mean i'm enjoying this more than getting ready for the point of a scrap on the cobbles you know what i mean so <laughs> no honestly it's, it's amazing and one of the lads i know it's on your live before a lad popped up called marcus pond yeah he's the english bare champion he's one of the lads that are going into the contender so big shout out to marcus pond for tuning into the live and awesome. the whole the whole of plymouth for behind him as well great to see you so, Dean, um, yeah. I'm going to ask you some pressing questions today um, I could, because I think it's only what people want to be asking. So yeah, I yeah, think it's yeah. good that we address the, the elephants in the room. It's not nothing too bad. Um, first of all, how did you choose the fighters? How did you choose the fighters, the contender series? Did they come and apply for you or did, you know, did you approach them? Well, what I've done is I I'd, I'd just put, like, I put the feelers out there. Obviously, I remember the majority of the fighters I actually know I spoke to them prior to that with me being part of a, you know, a promotion last time, what I was part of. So I actually knew a few fighters and I'd put the feelers out to them a couple of months beforehand and just said, look, I might be putting together this BKB contender series. So I had already had a handful of fighters um, and I had like a handful of inboxes that I'd not opened for people wanting to come into the series. As soon as I put the first video out there, I put a video out there saying I'm going to be hosting the BKB Contender Series, the inboxes just started flying in. And I just thought, you know what, let's select. So, you know, I had to pick, in terms of the fighters I had to pick there, you know, I've got people that have had one bare knuckle fight of these lads in there that's had eight bare knuckle fights. That's what makes it competitive, do you know what I mean? And, uh, like you're saying, you know, all the lads, all these lads are up for it. I mean, we've had, I've got one lad there um, that's coming in. I've got, you know, Marcus Pond. I'll give him a big shout out. You know, he's an English bare knuckle champion, you know, pit fighter, fought in the pits and stuff like that. So these are the calibre of guys that are coming in. I hope that coming into the contender through a full training camp, you know, when I hope that these guys go on from being in the BKB contender to go make an impact in the bare knuckle world. I hope that they get the time to shine up. People do see him, recognise him and, you know, help them because, you know, it's a fast growing sport, but it's still not where it needs to be. And I hope that I can, you know, try and try and get, a, you know, a, a good group of fighters that leave there where, you know, promoters and 
promotion start looking at these lads and think, you know what, they good. He's a good fighter. He's decent. Him. I want him. You know, I'll give these guys opportunities because these lads are training hard. You know, and, you know, they're training hard. They're putting it on the line. They're getting in there. They're going toe to toe, bare knuckle. You know, you know, they're not getting the rewards that they, I, I think they deserve. And I think the, you know, the contender is going to give them a bit of an opportunity to try and get themselves out there. I like it. Really, really good. Um... Good, and this is actually something I was going to go into. Although the safety of the fighters, this is from Lee McAllister. Lee McAllister is a very good yeah. fighter. Um, he's won, I think, got titles from lightweight to heavyweight. Although the safety of the fighters on BKP is not the best, to be honest. A lot of them are heading for brain damage. I've got a question for you here. It is pressing, but I think it's it's something that needs to be said and addressed. So, what you're doing that some in some people's eyes might not necessarily be a sport. I yeah, you yeah, agree with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What what safety precautions have you put in place to you know secure the if anything goes wrong, you know, on these streets? Because of course with boxing you've got paramedics, you've got a doctor. Do you know what I mean? What well, what safety precautions well, are you putting in place in order to yeah to ensure? Well, obviously, 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 in our show, obviously they'll be going through a training camp. Then obviously the you know they'll they'll get they'll get picked two fights each other on the contender show the day of the fight they'll get the medical before they get in the ring there'll be medical staff there and obviously when they're going through training camp as well we will have a first aider in the gym at all times as these guys are just going through training sparring obviously they've been sparring I'll be sparring with gloves on they'll be doing proper training camps and um, and that's pretty much it you, you know safety is paramount you know at the end of the day it's, you know I'm hosting a show. I understand it's entertainment, but my job is to ensure the safety of the fighter. If I get fighters there and they're looking a bit weight drained, and you know I'm not going to have these lads, you know, sitting in saunas for the sake of the camera and the views, and sitting in saunas to drop weight dangerously to go in hand-to-hand combat. You know, at the end of the week to fight, it's not going to happen. I don't think these lads are up for it. You know, I'm going to be in my right to pull a fight on the contender show. And sorry, lads, it's hard luck. You know, safety is paramount, but yeah, there will be paramedics on site. That's great. Proper, see. proper medics on site, yeah. You just because you just never know, do you? That's the, yeah, the, the, yeah, hundred you know. percent. I mean, it's it's bare knuckle boxing. You know, they take one on the chin, they can hit a canvas, you know, and the the, the red the red can come off the canvas with the impact of the shot as well. So, um, you know, safety is paramount for these lads. And like you're saying, you know, and I, every lad that's on the contender series, I've, I've, they're on your live tonight. So I'm going to say it openly. You know, if I feel like you're not up for the fight just because you're in the series and you've gone through the camp and if you know if, if I feel like you're genuinely up to it in terms of you look drained, you look under the weather, anything like that, I will pull you straight away. Your safety will be paramount. That's good to see. And Lee Lee responded there with uh, glad to see you've got the best interest of the fighters. Brilliant. Great yeah. stuff. Um so you, you've said about how the, you're gonna be housing these fighters. And by the way, yeah, if, you're, yeah. if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. Press the notification bell so you're going to get a notification. That's both on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you press that notification. So next time we're live with a bunch of fighters like we do every single Sunday at half eight, um, you'll know. Okay. So with these houses, so you've got two houses. I'm very familiar with the contender thing. Yeah. Is there going to be security in these houses? Because yeah. all I'm thinking, listen, that testosterone is going to be through the roof. That, got that, these lads are already going to be pretty handy, and a bit, probably a bit mad. Well, well, what we've done is, what, you know what I mean? yeah. Well, basically, I, we, we, there was two options. Option one was to house them all in one house at, at the same time. Obviously, you know the house will be cameraed and stuff like that. Then option two was going to house. The reason we was going to go with option two is because the six fighters that live in one house and six in the other are both on the same team, so the testosterone doesn't have to go at each other, but. You know, they, you know, they can still go at each other. So what we are going to do, we're going to be housing them in the one big house. And obviously, I'll be living on site with the lads as well. Just keep a bit of order in there, you know what I mean? Because testosterone yeah. is going to be flying. But what you've got to remember is there is these lads aren't going to know who they're fighting until two, a day, two days before. So obviously, the, the, you know, we understand there's going to be a bit of testosterone. There's going to be a bit of sparring. They might want to take the sparring home because they've had a bad day and stuff like that. So at least if I'm on site... I'll be living on site, and obviously the coaches will be living on the on the in the big house as well. So we're all under the one roof. That's cool. That's but cool. I think I, like it, I think I think it'll be kind of good as well, you know, obviously because they are under, they're going to be under the camera and stuff like that. So yeah, fantastic, great. The stuff. fight the, the fights will be live streamed as well on you on the YouTube platform. Each fight. Great stuff. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bringing a, a fighter probably on every week um, just yeah, to talk yeah. about them and, and talk about how they're getting on and stuff. It's going to be quite a journey and we can we can lead up to the end. Raul, of course, okay, so going back into it, um, you, you had a, a documented fight with Dekahegi. 
Yeah, uh, we spoke yeah, yeah. about this on a, on a previous live, and I'm not going to delve too much into that again. But what he, he's also having his own venture, isn't he, with um, that backyard brawls thing? Yeah, is, not... is is this going to cause more friction? By but he can't really. No, because look, I'm doing a contender series, so I like I say, I'm not here to do um, jumping. Like you know, I'm not here to rock, rock the feathers for any other promotion. What they're doing is what they're doing. I mean, he's doing backyard brawls. That's his platform. Then you've got other platforms where they're doing three, four shows a year of bare knuckle boxing. That's their platform. I'm doing a contender series. It's never been done before. Um, what's the aim to get out of the contender? I'm looking to go, and this is season one. I'm looking to go, you know, do this, do this as like a yearly thing. And, you know, I'm looking to do three to five years, you know, build this platform the best they can build it. Um, so I'm not really watching what Decker Heg is doing, you know, in all fairness, I did want the rematch, but I'm not going to go down that road because I'm past all that now. Um, if he's doing his backyard brawls and if it's working for him, fair play to him. And, you know, he has got a lot of, remember he's had about 18 fights, so he's got a lot of experience in bare knuckle boxing and I'm not going to contaminate with what them guys are doing. I mean, if there was another contender series going on in the UK, then obviously I've got yeah. a competition, it'd cause friction, but as for backyard brawls and stuff like that, that isn't what my aim is. His aim is obviously getting backyard brawls and people having a few scraps in here and there. You know, I'm trying to like, my aim is to is to get a few lads in, a lads in that need opportunities, give them the opportunity on the platform, try and build them up and try and get these lads out there. That's what my aim is. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I can't get every fighter that comes into the contender house recognition. It's not for me really to get them recognition, but I'm just hoping that promoters look at what I'm doing. What look, look out, you know, they like the taste of these guys. Yeah, I'll take this lad, I'll get this lad, I'll give them an opportunity. That's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. I like um, it. See, mine's totally different from what other promotions are doing. So, uh, like I say, it's yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Yeah, I get that. It's, it's a separate thing. I was yeah, just thinking because it's a yeah. YouTube channel, because it's a is that going to yeah. create any more? Um, I watched a video the other day. People love making videos of you. Um, there's people out there <laughs> incredibly talented, and me and you have laughed at it. And you know, <laughs> yeah. let's just say any. Any um, advertising is a good advertising, if you're wanting for a better word. Yeah. But I saw the one of Dougie, uh, a Dougie yeah. Joyce, who, who basically stood there, blatantly outspoken, I'm having nothing to do with the Contender Series. Yeah. I've got my own thing going on with 3D Fight Club. You're doing the Contender Series. But it seemed like it was, I don't know, it just seemed a bit sudden, I understand why he's doing it. Matter of fact, is this what's the, what's happened? Is is there something financial, there's, or an argument, or what, no, what's there's, going on? There's, there's not really, there's not really no, there's not really no argument. Obviously, what me and Dougie done, we started everything together back to back, and then I think as things have as things have progressed. Remember, I walked from the three D Fight Club platform after the first show. I sat down with him and just said, "I'm out." Do you know what I mean? It was the you know, when I went my, I went pretty much, I didn't really go my own way then. I was still attached to the, the 3D in terms of turning up at the shows, giving them around at the shows, doing the press conferences, which are out there. And it just got to the stage where I've gone my own way, do you know, when, you know, like you're saying, you know, we got to remember he, my first podcast I'd done, uh, a couple of podcasts was with Dougie. We started this at the same time. So obviously, you know, he just probably wanted me, I don't know if he wanted me to be, still be attached to him at the 3D or, work together and so forth but I just feel like what I'm doing now you know it's just something I've always wanted to since I got involved in the sport is do that so in terms of we've had this major fallout and everything else like that mm. isn't the case it was a bit abrupt at the start because I've gone my own way but the one thing you know we're family so it's not going to go no further where it goes in terms of it's a major massive fallout I mean obviously the YouTube trolls make things a lot worse I mean since the video was made I done my video saying that you know the contender is my platform and so forth and um, did I come a bit abrupt on it, you know, because, you know, Dougie was going to be part of that, part of the contender with me, but he's wanting to go his own way and made it, made it clear he wants to do what he's doing and I'm not part of his promotion. So I've got my way. We've spoke since that behind the scenes because we're family, we're not going to fall out. And that's pretty much it. You know, I wish, I do wish Dougie well with the 3D Fight Club because it's, you know, from where it's start, where we started it to where it is now. You know, I mean, you go to one of them shows, it's probably one of the best bare knuckle shows you'll go to. You know, the shows are meant, yeah. you know, you, all I can do is wish him well with his team. And I do believe it'll be it'll be a success, but at the minute, I'm just on my own path, my own track with, with what I'm doing. So just for the trolls and everything out there, there's not been this big, massive, major fallout, how it looks and everything else. But, you know, it is what it is. What it is. And like I said, I wish I wish the whole of the 3D Fight Club team well. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I had some good, listen, I had some good laughs 
still had some good laughs down there when we was, you know, was putting the shows on and behind the scenes stuff and all that. You know, it was all it was all immense. But this time it's about myself on my new yeah. platform with what I'm doing. Lovely. So BKB Contender then, um, where can we see this? Where can we watch it? Is there a channel? Where, where yes. Do oh, yeah. So basically what you've got the BKB Contender channel on YouTube. So every bit of content, the build up to it, there's already stuff going on there. Um, people have subbed to the channel already. If you go on that channel there, uh, from there's going to be content from now up till August, the first week of August is when the fighters go into the house. Um, so there'll be f there'll be free uploads a week. They'll get the medicals, they'll get the rules, they'll square off and then they'll fight live stream. So you're going to have three one hour um, videos of content on the series going up for a week, uh, for eight weeks, sorry. So you're going to have three one hour videos uploaded. There for, so it'll be streamed on the YouTube platform, on the BKB Contender. Love it, love it. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks yeah, that's for, fine. Dan, it's a pleasure. Know all about it. I'm looking yeah. forward to supporting you. And do you know what? It's quite nice. It's quite nice that it doesn't matter how much crap you are getting, that you you just proven wrong, proven wrong. Doing you, what you're doing, and what who's going to be laughing when this this it could be potentially a success? Yeah, so. do you know what? I don't really, I don't really. You know, when you come on these platforms, you've got all, you've got all thick skin, so. You know, the majority of these people, are not, you know, they're never going to come out and tear it up with me on the cobbles, are they? And, you know, they'll just give me bad press. So I, I don't mind. I've got I've got used to them. But to be fair, I've got, I can only thank them because it's they're the ones that have got me to get my platform out yeah, here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Getting so all I your it. views and stuff. All the views. Yeah, honestly, so, uh, it's so funny. I appreciate it. But, uh, Dan, I, I honestly, I did a video for Dean yesterday, right? And I, I was <laughs> I, I was out, I was heading up for the boxing last night. And I, and I was yeah. I was I live by a lake and I, and I was like oh I'll do it there and I try to drop a lake I thought yeah yeah oh no someone's going to like put Shrek on me head or something <laughs> 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 I just like, you know what, me. Though,